I'm going to show you how to crack the password of a computer running Windows XP. In this tutorial, I will be cracking the passwords to user1, user2, and user3 using the OFRAC Live CD. To get started, you will need to download the OFRAC Live CD using a computer that you have access to. Okay, let's open up an internet browser and Google OFRAC. Go to google.com and type in O P H C R A C K. Okay. Let's click on the first link. Scroll down and click download OCRAC Live CD. Scroll down and let's select OCRAC XP Live CD. And it will ask you to save the file or open. Let's click save. Okay, now the file is downloading. Once you have the file downloaded, you will need to burn it as an ISO to a disk. For this, I use a program called Active ISO Burner. You can get that easily by going to downloads.com. And just search for ISO be like the fourth or fifth one down. Oh, here we go. First one down. Active ISO burner. Select it, download it, and install it. Okay, let's see. Download now. Once you have it downloaded and installed, it's very simple to use. Just double click it. Select the ISO path. Here I have it on my desktop. The OFRAC Live CD. Select it. Okay. And select your burner and then click burn. Okay. Now you should have the OFRAC Live CD burned to a disk. You will need to shut down the computer properly for OFRAC to work. Okay. So let's shut down the computer and boot from the OFRAC Live CD. When I restart on my computer with the OFCRACK Live CD, I will need to boot the computer from the disk. To do this, you will get a message telling you to push either F2, F6, F8, F12, or Escape to bring up the boot menu. In my case, I pushed Escape. This is the message that I brought up. Okay, I'm going to select Choice 2 to boot from the CD-ROM drive. Okay, the OFCRACK Live CD program popped up. I'm going to select the first choice, which is OFCRACK Graphic Mode. Okay, now it's going to load OFCRACK. When OFCRACK starts up, you should get this message saying, Found one partition containing hashes, starting OFCRACK. And OFCRACK will start. If you did not get this message and OFCRACK did not start, then the error was that you did not shut down Windows properly and OFCRACK cannot access the Windows file. To fix this issue, all you have to do is boot up the computer and click shut down. Then run OFCRACK again. Now that OFCRACK has started up, you should see a screen similar to this one. As you can see, the three usernames which I want to crack are right here. User1, User2, and User3. I don't need the other passwords, so I will select them and click delete on my keyboard.
The LM password one column contains the first seven characters of the password, and the LM password two column will contain the remaining characters. The full password will be displayed in the NT password column. As you can see, my password has more than seven characters, and you can instantly view the last three, meaning that my password has a total of ten characters. Okay, to find the password, let's hit crack right over here. Okay, it's on the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And the full password appears over here. Oh, it's on the last one, which is A1, B2, C3, D4, E5, which you can see right over here for the final. Okay, here we go. The final password is A B C D E F G H I J, which is right over here. Okay, so as you can see, cracking a Windows XP password is very simple. Alright, see ya.